Chasing Lakes, Love, Science, and the Secrets of the Arctic is an autobiographical narrative by Katie Walter Anthony, a noted aquatic ecologist who specializes in the study of methane emissions from Arctic and subarctic regions. Throughout the book, Walter Anthony shares a personal and profound connection with the Arctic celestial landscapes and its secrets hidden in the lakes and beneath the permafrost. At the core of the book is Walter Anthony's scientific quest to understand the impact of climate change in the Arctic and the role of methane emissions. Methane is a potent greenhouse gas, and the release of methane from thawing permafrost represents a significant feedback loop in global climate change. She travels across Alaska and Siberia, studying lakes that are hotspots for methane release, undertaking rigorous fieldwork in often treacherous and unforgiving conditions. The story is not just a pursuit of science, but also a tale of personal transformation. Walter Anthony shares her journey through life, including her relationships, motherhood, and the balance she seeks between her passion for fieldwork and her responsibilities at home. She elaborates on the challenges of conducting research in remote regions, sometimes with her children in tow, and the emotional and physical toll of such an adventurous and demanding career. Throughout the book, Walter Anthony reflects on her encounters with the indigenous communities who inhabit these Arctic regions. She develops a deep respect for their connection to the land and their insights into the environmental changes occurring around them. These relationships contribute to her scientific understanding as she learns to observe the natural landscape through their perspectives, which have been shaped by generational knowledge. The memoir covers Walter Anthony's formative years illustrating how her early fascination with water and natural environments led her to study aquatic ecology. She describes the epiphanies and the setbacks she experiences over her career as she gains recognition for her groundbreaking work on methane emissions. Her research includes measuring the amount and composition of gases from Arctic lakes, which often involves drilling through ice and capturing gases that bubble to the surface. Walter Anthony doesn't shy away from discussing the gender dynamics within the field of science, recounting moments of bias and the ongoing struggle for women to be equally acknowledged and respected in scientific circles. Her personal story of perseverance and dedication serves as an inspiring example for aspiring female scientists. As the narrative weaves in and out of various expeditions, the author emphasizes the urgency of the environmental issues being faced in the Arctic. She makes the case that understanding Arctic methane release is critical for accurate predictions of future climate change. Her work helps to fill in the missing pieces of the climate puzzle. The book isn't just dominated by science and fieldwork. It also gives readers a look into Walter Anthony's love life. Her relationships often intersect with her professional endeavors, and she writes candidly about the joys and sorrows, the beginnings and ends. The narrative arc of her romantic life is as complex as her scientific studies, with both contributing to her growth and understanding of the world. Chasing Lakes is also filled with descriptions of the sheer beauty and dangers of the Arctic environment, the serenity of remote landscapes, the majesty of the northern lights, and the perilous conditions that can include extreme cold and encounters with wildlife. Walter Anthony's passion for the Arctic's unique ecosystems and her concern for their susceptibility to climate change are palpable throughout the text. Moreover, as Walter Anthony uncovers the secrets of the Arctic lakes, she grapples with the ethical responsibilities of a scientist. She understands that her research has implications for policy and public awareness, and she is not just chasing lakes, but also trying to affect change in the approach towards climate-related challenges. Her breakthroughs in the field lead to increased understanding of just how quickly methane emissions can accelerate in a warming world. She witnesses the exponential increase in the size and number of methane-emitting lakes, and these observations add to the dire warnings from the scientific community about the pace of climate change. Walter Anthony's voice is not just that of a scientist, but also a storyteller, as she deeply connects her readers to the places and people she encounters. Her vivid storytelling style brings the cold, stark, and silently eloquent Arctic to life, reminding readers that while it may seem distant and detached, the Arctic's fate is inextricably linked to global climate outcomes. 
By the end of the book, the reader understands that chasing lakes is more than the study of geological and ecological phenomena. It is the story of a woman chasing a deeper comprehension of nature, chasing the fulfillment of ambition, and chasing the complex balance of career and personal life. Walter Anthony's narrative transcends the bounds of a scientific memoir to become a poignant meditation on love, loss, discovery, and the profound connections that bind us to the earth. Inherently aware of the fleeting nature of her beloved lakes, their very disappearance is what she's documenting, Walter Anthony channels her energies into uncovering their mysteries while they still exist. Her work is a race against time, mirroring the race humanity is in to mitigate the impacts of climate change. Ultimately, Chasing Lakes is a mix of reflection, discovery, and an urgent plea for environmental stewardship. Through her journey, Walter Anthony demonstrates how love and science, often viewed as disparate realms, can powerfully intersect driving a relentless pursuit of knowledge and a deeper understanding of the natural world that supports us. You can listen to the full audiobook for free by following the URL in the description.